We are learning more about the lives taken at the Tanger outlets during a deadly shooting, but nothing more on the motive. Two people died. Another person was hurt. It all started when police say Leon Jones opened fire outside the coach outlet in Sevierville yesterday afternoon. Police say Jones killed a woman and hurt a man before turning the gun on himself. We have now learned that woman, 24 year old Olivia Cunningham, was visiting from Pennsylvania. The man was from Massachusetts. He is now out of the hospital. Police say Jones was from Sevierville in Newport. TBI records show he did have a criminal history with several theft and burglary charges. Again, authorities say this was a random shooting. The killer had no ties to his victims. 10 News reporter Leslie Ackerson joins us now from the outlets. And Leslie, you spoke to them all about how it alerted store managers to keep shoppers safe. Well, Robin and John, even after yesterday's events, the Tanker Outlets has been pretty busy today. Lots of cars and people have been packing the area throughout the day since I've been here. As a popular traveler destination and for locals who come, protecting these customers is something that management takes very seriously. Thousands of people visit Tanger outlets to eat and shop every day, and the safety of these customers is top priority. And Tanger is very adamant about our shopper safety and the safety of all of our tenants and stores, so we do have protocols in place. And when an active shooting situation happened Tuesday evening, they responded quickly. Um, as a management team here, we do practice active shooter training. We practice evacuation training. Unfortunately, we're prepared, but we, we hope that it would never happen. An alert system was initiated, sending employees these text messages along with emails and phone calls, making them aware of the incident and to remain inside their stores and not let customers go outside until law enforcement gave an all clear. We are very grateful to the Sevierville Police Department, the Pigeon Forge Police Department, all of our first responders that came so swiftly yesterday during this tragic event. On a normal day, there is always an off-duty sheriff's officer on site. Today, Sevierville PD increased patrols to reassure the public, and stores near to the shooting were closed. Coach is closed, and Kate Spade is a sister company of Coach, so out of respect for the Coach store, they are closed today as well. As operations return to normal, management says people will feel comfortable and protected when they visit. This was an isolated incident. Um, this was a random incident. We, we are a very safe destination. And after something like this happens, Sevierville PD will get together with Tanger Outlets and their corporate office and kind of go through their plans, the response that they gave from start to finish, see if there is anywhere that there are improvements that need to be made. And they do expect the Coach store and the Kate Spade store to both reopen tomorrow. Now, as I mentioned, it's still been really busy here at this point today and all throughout the day, lots of customers here. And that's where reporter Gabrielle Hayes comes in. She got to actually speak with some of these customers on what they're thinking and what they're feeling after yesterday's events. Absolutely. Well, customers say they are concerned, but they really really say they're optimistic about the future. Many said they've had family members call them to make sure they're okay. Others say they've wrestled with the idea of possibly going home. But people from right here in Tennessee say while they believe Sea River is safe, it's still a safe place, the news is startling and nothing to take lightly. A real un, unsure and unsafe uh, feeling initially, you know, that's, that's the best you can describe it. You know, I mean, it can happen anywhere, but it's happened more and more. That's that's the bad thing, you know. You. However, both Platner and his wife say they will continue to visit um, Sevierville and this shopping center, and I'll have the full story on their reactions coming up at six. And with that, send it back to you all in the studio. All right, Gabrielle, thank you very much. And coming up on 10 News at 5.